Hello there. In this video, we will use Q Graphics View and we'll create a view where we can use the mouse wheel to zoom. And we'll disable scrolling with the mouse wheel on the scroll bars. And we'll do that by creating a custom graphics view. So first, let's go to a new project and select the Q Widgets application. We'll choose that and I'll name mine view and I'll put it in my test directory. Okay, finish, and I like to do this as Q dialog. Main window will work just fine too. Okay, let's finish that, and here's our project. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a new class. So new file project, uh, C++, C++ class, choose, and we're going to name this custom view, and we'll click next. Finish. Okay, so here's the C++ implementation of custom view, and we want to go into our custom view header. So in our header file, we need to add a few includes. So first, let's include Q graphics view. And this is important, we need to make sure we have Q T widgets and we'll also include Q widget just to cover our bases. Okay, so our custom view needs to inherit a graphics view. So public Q graphics view and Q graphics view requires a parent as a constructor and so we're going to add this into our constructor implementation parent equals zero and we also need to make sure we add this into our implementation and here we just need to go q widget parent we don't need to add the zero but here we need to go Q graphics view and pass it parent. Okay, that should take care of that. So now we need to be able to implement our will event. So protected. And the will event is a virtual void event. I spelled virtual wrong. I always seem to do that. Virtual void will event and just give it a pointer to the event. And if we click here and right click, uh, go to refactor and add it to our C. Okay, so while we're here, let us implement this will event. So the first thing we want to do is make it so the will will zoom in, will zoom in on the point where our mouse is. So to do that, we're going to set a transformation anchor. Set transformation anchor, and we want to do it in Q graphics view, and we want to anchor under the mouse. We want to set a scale factor. So how much will it zoom each time the wheel is rotated? Scale factor 1.15 seems to work good for me. You can play around with this. And then if event dot delta so if the event changes and it's greater than zero so the mouse will goes forward we want to rescale our view and so scale by scale factor and this is good in the x direction and this is going to be the scale in the y direction and if it's in the other direction if delta is less than zero then we want to zoom out so do that we're going to do scale 1 divided by scale factor and that will just give us a very small zoom which makes it get smaller and 1 divided by scale factor in the y direction okay so that's implemented now what we need to do is we have the view implemented so now we need to have a graphics view to be able to implement our zoom on so let's go into our forms and into our dialog UI and let's add a graphics view. 
So here's our graphics view. And we'll just make that as big as our dialog. So select the graphics view, right click, promote to. And here we want to promote it to our custom view. Add, promote, okay. Now we have this view, but we don't have anything in it. So to do that, we're going to go back into, well not back, we're going to go for the first time into our dialog.h. And a graphics view displays a graphic scene. And so we're going to need to add a graphic scene here and an item to display in that scene in order to make this work. So in our dialog header, we're going to add a couple of includes so we can make this work. So let's go include, let's get a Q graphics item and Q graphics scene and we'll include the GUI just for good measure. Okay, so we're going to create a Q pointer to a Q graphics item and we'll just call this item and a Q graphics scene which we call scene okay so there are those and now we'll go into our dialog.cpp to implement these okay so just in the constructor the first thing we need to do is create an item. And so I have an image of a digital elevation model on my computer that I want to display. So I'm going to do Q image, image, and I'm just going to copy and paste the file path to that from over here. So copy it and then come back and paste that in. And so my item equals a new Q graphics pix map item because the picture is a pix map it's just a display of pixels Q pix map and we want to do from image and we want to use my image variable okay so our scene equals new Q graphics scene and give it the parent of the dialog, this. Okay. And now, just to show you this so you don't get lost, when we created our graphics view, it has a name here, graphics view. So that's what I'm going to use here, is I'm going to go back over to my dialog CPP and my UI user interface of the dialog and the graphics view that's there, I'm going to set the scene to my scene. And then with my scene, I'm going to add an item, and I'm going to add my picture item. Okay. So I think we're good to go here. Let's give this a build and see if we have any errors. I guess I should probably be doing this build more often so that we can check this as we go and not have to go back and fix a lot of errors if there are. I got lucky this time and there aren't any errors. So let's give this a run here we go here's my dialog we can't see my image in there i didn't put anything in there to position it but you can see that here's part of my digital elevation model and i can still use my scroll bars to move it up and down over when i use my mouse wheel you can see it zooms out or in zooms in right on the point i'm clicking at or where my pointer is it zooms right in on it so here we go, here's how we can allow it to zoom in with our mouse pointer. Uh, there you go, I hope this tutorial was able to help you fix any problems or any questions you've had, uh, and I hope you were able to learn from it. Have a good day, folks.